October 2nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 111 and 112 from the Old Testament. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the godly and the congregation. The Lord's deeds are great, eagerly awaited by all who desire them. His work is majestic and glorious, and his faithfulness endures forever. He does amazing things that will be remembered. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. He gives food to his faithful followers. He always remembers his covenant. He announced that he would do mighty deeds for his people, giving them a land that belonged to other nations. His acts are characterized by faithfulness and justice. All his precepts are reliable. They are forever firm and should be faithfully and properly carried out. He delivered his people. He ordained that his covenant be observed forever. His name is holy and awesome. To obey the Lord is the fundamental principle for wise living. All who carry out his precepts acquire good moral insight. He will receive praise forever. Praise the Lord. How blessed is the one who obeys the Lord who takes great delight in keeping his commands. His descendants will be powerful on the earth. The godly will be blessed. His house contains wealth and riches. His integrity endures. In the darkness a light shines for the godly, for each one who is merciful, compassionate, and just. It goes well for the one who generously lends money and conducts his business honestly. For he will never be upended. Others will always remember one who is just. He does not fear bad news. He is confident. He trusts in the Lord. His resolve is firm. He will not succumb to fear before he looks in triumph on his enemies. He generously gives to the needy. His integrity endures. He will be vindicated and honored. When the wicked see this, they will worry. They will grind their teeth in frustration and melt away. The desire of the wicked will perish. God, towards the end of chapter 10, sorry, at the end of chapter 111, verse 10, to obey the Lord is the fundamental principle for wise living. All who carry out his precepts acquire good moral insight. And I think about listening to what you ask us to do. Um, to be obedient, to be humble, to love other people, um, to follow your commands, all done, all precepts done in the name of how much you love us. And another thing that you ask us to do is to seek you with our whole heart. And as a single woman and one who mentors a lot of single girls, I think about that a lot, that if we seek you with our whole heart, then there's not room in our heart to be needy of something of this world. So often we find ourselves seeking the attention of men. Um, I'm not making excuses for us <laughs> at all, uh, but society drills that into our head pretty heavy um, from when we were little and listened to uh, Disney movies uh, that our prince would come. Uh, society tells us that there's a soulmate out there for us. Uh, the bridal industry is, is huge and the fantasy thereof and um, that need of the world starts to take over where your love for us should already be filled. And if we don't seek your precepts, if we don't seek what you've asked us to do with our whole heart, then there's going to be all these gaps that can be filled in with these other things of the world. God, I ask you to help fill in the gaps, the ones that I'm completely aware of and the ones that I'm not aware of, uh, where things might be able to maneuver themselves into my life. God, I ask that you just fill those up with your love, your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness of those opportunities, um, and also your discipline, because your precepts definitely uh, usually include discipline out of the love that you have for us. God, I know you are the only one who can truly fill me up, who can fulfill all the needs in my life, the, fulfill the needs in my heart. Uh, a man will never do that. For other people, alcohol will never do that. Drugs will never do that. Shopping will never do that. Money will never do that. It is only you who will actually be able to fulfill those needs. 
and allow our lives to be a reflection of the traits, the moral traits that you gave us. In your son's name I pray. Amen.